Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today, we'll take a look at the Mini GT, Miho Exclusives, BMW M4 GT3 car number one, ST Racing, winner of the 2022 12 Hours of Magello. My pick mine up for my friends over at diecastmodelhillsoul.com. It'll be linked in the video description below if you'd like to add this awesome release to your collection. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in your standard Mini GT Miho Exclusive Blister Pack. That is the absolute only difference between this and this car's release anywhere else is it comes in a blister pack instead of just the art box but up here on the front we do have mini gt as well as mini exclusives got some fantastic card art this is limited to 2400 pieces and it is scale 164 of course the car featured nicely in the plastic bubble with the card art below it this is number 439 and is ages 14 and up. On the back here we have all your official hologram licensing for bmw as well as tsm models of course, if you are a collector of Mini GT, you should already know what the details are, but there they are. So that is the blister pack. So we're gonna get the art box out here and the car. So as I mentioned, the art box it is the same box you will get if you just bought the car in the box. It has Mini GT, got a side profile of the model, BMW M4 GT3 car number one, ST Racing 2022, 12 hour Magello winner. Sent here features Mini GT scale 164. On the back we have just TSM model branding. On the top we have all the Mini GT social handles and website. So that is the art box. Let's go ahead and get to the car itself now. Go ahead and pan down and zoom in. Starting off on the front we do have a little BMW emblem right above the uh, grill there. Insert plastic details for your headlights which look fantastic. Below the headlights we have Hankook. It's hard to see in red there, but we do have M4 GT3 inside the grill there. I do love the BMW M4 uh, grill. looks fantastic. You can see those little blue spots right below the Hankook logo. Those are the covers for the headlamps, of, or fog lamps of the car. We have louvers that are molded into the top of the front fenders. Some NACA ducts and intakes on the hood there. Up here on the front windshield, we have the Hankook logo as well as 12-hour Magello. The wheels look fantastic with center a uh, little red dot on the center of the wheel. Moving along to the side of the car here on the door we have 24 hour series. Of course GT3 hand cook number one. We have some sponsors going down the side skirt here like Motul, KW, of course some more right there. On the door here we have GPI Biotech which is also down there on the side skirt Motul. Com one on the quarter window here we have Samantha Tan Racing, BMW, and the scoring pylon. This car was driven by Samantha Tan, Bryson Morse, as well as Nick Whitmer. So you got their names right up there on the roof. You can see the molded in escape hatch up on the roof there. Black molded interior for uh, details. No uh, silver details for your mirrors, which is one thing I with which I wish Mini GT would do. A lot of the other brands do that. Got a little intake there in front of the rear wheels. Once I mentioned, Motul and Com 1 there. Back here on the rear window, we have 24 hour series, car number one, some louvers. Keep pushing on the rear wing. Back here, we have insert details for your tail lights. Got some body clip mounts. Hand cook. Of course, pad racing. Of course, got the BMW logo on the back here as well as the M4 GT3. Got that rear diffuser. There's your rear diffuser strakes. This is two screw construction, like most, if not all, Mini GT releases. Got racing slicks, flat bottom, which is what you'd expect on a race car like this. Right side of the car is basically the same as the left side, no major differences, except for on the quarter window there, we got a few more logos. There are actually a few logos, I believe, not on the car that they didn't put on the right side. I'm not sure if they were on the car for this race. I didn't really look at too many pictures so the right side may be different but not too much different once again Motul, KW, of course GPI Biotech all on the side skirt down there got some intakes behind the front wheels the exhaust would be coming out the front you can see the where it's molded in right there but there's no details unfortunately for the actual exhaust this is a fantastic model for Mini GT. I believe this is also 
this livery done in a wrap. I don't think this is spray paint or any kind of paint processing. I think the entire livery is a giant wrap that they just stuck on the car, which is the only way I think they could have done this and made it look this nice. The louvers look good, just molded in there. Intakes on the hood there, nice. The, the headlights look great. Like I said, I really love the front grill of the BMWs. Got the little intakes on either side of the grill there. Carbon fiber front splitter. It's a fantastic model. No complaints from this one from Mini GT. That is the Mini GT Miho Exclusives BMW M4 GT3 winner of the 2022 12 Hours of Magello, driven by Samantha Tan, Bryson Morris, and Nick Whitmer. Once again, I picked mine up from my friends over at DieCastMallHillSold.com. It will be linked in the video description below if you'd like to add this release to your collection. You can find me on Twitter at JasonAceDrain69. Be sure to like and subscribe. I post new DieCast reviews throughout the week. See you next time for an all-new DieCast review.